Hey gang, welcome back. FE Review Statics. We've got a cantilevered beam with a distributed load on it. I want to find the maximum shear force in that beam. There's your answer choices. Okay, work it out. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. All right, did you do it? Let's go. Okay, maximum shear force in the beam. Step one, what is this guy right here? The reaction at point, let's call it point A, okay? Up stuff equals the down stuff. It's the only place for up stuff. Right, I've got two distributed loads over here. Well, let's do this. I think I'll do it this way. Instead of doing, oh no. Instead of doing it there, I think what I'll do is one big rectangle, right? And go like in the middle of that, which is there maybe. And then this uh, little triangle over here. The rectangle is 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 times 15. I don't know how much that is. Let's see. On clear. 14 times 15 equals 210. This is 210. And then that, right, is 1 half base times height. The base is 8. The height is, uh, that's 25, that's 10, 15, must be 10, equals 80 divided by 2. I just did that in my calculator, it's 40. Okay, so that means that A, the upwards force must be what? A, A Y must be equal to up stuff equals the down stuff, 250, okay? And, I, and I, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably our answer there, isn't it? Because if we have a shear force, what we do is we go up 250, right? Then we go, we go down 6 times 15. 6 times 15 equals 90. Zoop, right? And then we got to go down some more, slow than fast, back to zero. That's what the graph looks like for the V diagram. So clearly, 250 is the maximum shear force on that beam. And our answer is... 250, there it is right there, okay? That's a pretty nice, easy one, isn't it? Let's do another one. 